Excuse me, I farted out of my mouth. Where's my beer? Here we are again on some random friggin' hill. What are we doing here again? People ask me, what kind of friends are we? Those kind of friends. What kind of friends? Slide friends. So, if we're gonna do this episode right, we're gonna do it as we always do, and you gotta get yourself a mud jug. I can't do that. <laughs> just negative. No. Just not. In frame. Out of frame. Smooth. <laughs> and we're back. All right, guys, so we decided we're going to uh, make a video as to why we haven't been recording uh, lately for any ghost hunts. Our war wagon that we used to get from place to place was actually hit by a guy in a Beamer in Rialto. By the way, you. And the horse she came in on. That's for sure. The German uh, horse. Poor truck, she got a, she was a war wagon, she did us a lot of favors, and uh, now she's gone. Uh, probably gonna get totaled out, but I promise you, we're gonna be coming up with a hunt next, uh, just getting all our equipment stuff sorted, and uh, the ride situation as well. <laughs> she gone. She gone. She gone hard. I don't want her back. Mm. Don't miss that monthly payment or what? It's like when someone else hits your girl from behind, you don't want her back. <laughs> While you're still with her, and exactly. yeah, she did, she got plowed pretty hard in the behind. While you're still paying off her credit card. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden it's like I want half of everything you have. Negative. Yeah. Now nah, at least at least, at least I got a BMW mirror out of it. I have a BMW mirror for sale. Yeah. 2012 to 2014 three series. Oh, if anybody Slightly knows. cracked and scratched, but you can have it for 25 bucks. And not only that, if you know things about Beamers, we do want to catch this guy because he's got a police report and everything out. If you know anything about Beamer parts and you can tell us like just an iota of this guy's number, like we still have the mirror. <laughs> like he hit so hard and tried to take off. It was a hit and run. Uh, he left his mirror behind and we do have that with all the little serial numbers and everything in it. So if you guys know anything about Beamers, kind of hit us up in the comment section below or DM me, see if you know, uh, you can help us out here so we can catch this scumbag. Look at that frame is bent like Forrest Gump's legs. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, negative. Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing as well here, uh, this is an overview of episode one. We're going to be reviewing our favorite parts that uh, we saw and things that we thought, you know, piqued our interest during that whole hunt and things that, you know, you may have not seen, you know, during the shoot, you know, that may have happened off camera or try to break it down for you guys as well, uh, you know, as we kind of look at what we have here on episode one, you know, obviously it was our first hunt, but the fact that something actually happened that, you know, we can't even explain. Uh, I think that gives a, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of accreditation there that you know we just want to keep this going, see what we can find, and uh, always try to find you know answers and make sure you know what we have it actually has proof to it. Like I said, with our thermal, it's not lying to you; it's telling you whatever we're looking at that's moving is uh, too cold to be a human there, and that that definitely uh, it's a cool little feeling thinking like, hey, that was our first hunt. We called upon something to be there, and it uh, it was. Get past the intro. Verizon. <laughs> Loading since it came out. I think one of my favorite parts is when we get the introduction between, uh, you know, me and Justin Rice, who was there on the first shoot. We throw the hang loose, and that was not scripted. That happened at the same time. I think we had a nice little connection. I think my favorite part coming up next is uh, Nate cutting through a bunch of the orange groves with uh, the camera. And I told him, you know, there was a better path to take, but he decided to go through the spider infested forest. And he goes, well, you know what? Might as well get some hepatitis B while we're at it. And uh, that was pretty funny. Nice little thing to see there. But I think for the video itself, uh, you know, as we're watching it here right now, uh, there was a lot that kind of went on behind the scenes too as well when we were trying to get, you know, these apparitions uh, to show himself and say, hey, you know, what, uh, if there's anyone with us. And the big thing, I think, with the story we were investigating, there's a lot of, like, hearsay that went on with the orange groves. And uh, a lot of it we come to find out wasn't really true or there was no record of it. And, I mean, to be honest, there's, like, people have stories passed on rapes and murders and all these things. I'm like, this is America, like... We have actual law enforcement. It's so like if someone died, there's going to be detectives, police reports, you know, anything of that nature, like a violent crime or a sexual crime. 
it's going to be well documented, you know, even back towards, you know, 50s and 60s, there's still going to be a record. We couldn't really find anything other than the suicide that happened, and we put that police report actually in the link in the video itself in episode one, just so you guys didn't think we're BSing you. You know, I always want to make sure that our hunts are, you know, legitimate, that we're not just going on a wild goose chase, but, you know, at least where we went and what the circumstance was, you know, whatever it was where we thought, you know, that suicide or apparent suicide happened, um, something showed up after we called it. Definitely. And actually, you know, one of my favorite parts, too, as you can see in what we're looking at here is uh, the thermal. We were using our thermal at this point. It was the first time actually in the field, pretty well used. And uh, we're using Nate as a reference to kind of see, hey, uh, what's going on at this point? You know, what degree of temperature is the human looking like on a thermal versus, you know, the trees and the surrounding. Uh, and then we get into trying to find a cold spot because obviously with an apparent suicide, uh, it is a very sad situation and someone who is earthbound, uh, you know, could have that, that really sad energy about it. So we found that and immediately everyone, as you hear in the video, we start saying it just drops temperature. It gets really cold. And it was something the whole crew felt, you know, we were all sitting there going, whoa, <laughs> this is a, uh, this is something a little, a uh, little spooky here. And then finally we got to the spot where we think the guy may have taken his life. And, uh, you know, we called upon him to, you know, if he's there, make himself known. We also say uh, off camera as well, we did a, a little prayer circle in a sense because of this tragedy that, you know, we hope you move on. We hope you find the light. You know, if we could be a part of that, you know, we call upon you to find that and, you know, move on. Uh, and then sure enough, after that, you know, we get this movement. There was kind of wrestling and things that, you know, we could have accredited to the wind. You know, there was things that you'll see in the episode as well that, there's some rustling and it, it draws the attention of uh, Mrs. Rice, Katie Rice. She sees it, she puts the light on it, and then all of a sudden, you know, we start saying it, and then boom, you know, right here, uh, this is my favorite because I mean, I was looking dead at his face and uh, straight ahead, you know, maybe 20 yards out, and Justin Rice, who was right next to me, goes, Dude, what is that? <laughs> you know, and we started trying to figure out what it was, and then obviously, I take ground on it, and uh, it, uh, it definitely uh, tries to almost like defensive. As I tell you, you know, I just wanted to let it know it wasn't a threat, but when I moved up on it, it did shift form almost. You can see it kind of stand tall. And I'm not a short guy, I'm about six foot even. As you can see, I'm actually bigger than eight in this camera. I'm about six foot tall, whatever I was looking at. He's sitting on it, a phone book. Yeah, it, it towered over me. And that was the creepy part, seeing that, you know, especially on the camera here, just wondering like, whoa, you know, what could that be? And <laughs> for me, I won't lie, there was a little bit of poo little bit of poo when it first saw it. I just, you know, kind of <laughs> kind of had to make that known. It wasn't all like, oh, he's ballsy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not not that tough, but it was, uh, it was definitely something to behold. And, you know, after that, we ask it to make its presence known again. And I think uh, with that, you know, he starts seeing us moving around, rustling. And it does. This point, too, when the noises started happening, we started hearing, remember that shrilling? It was like a screech kind of scream. You hear us say yeah. it in the video. It's like shrieking. I don't know what that was. We thought maybe an owl, but you know, in that video, you see uh, something draws Katie's attention. I won't lie, sitting next to her, you're like, whoa, <laughs> what was that? And uh, it was something to behold, that's for sure. So I think with this breakdown, we just want people to see, you know, if you want that original footage too as well, uh, we'd be more than happy to send it to you so you know we're not faking it. I've sent it out to try and get reviewed by the top 15s and chills. The guy's really monotone, but really good at reviewing horror stuff. Sent it to him and said, hey, dude, you know, if you want to check us out, this is something that happened and we can show you it's not faked. I mean, it's definitely not faked. <laughs> so it's all original footage, no Photoshop, no editing on that with the original file. So, I mean, that's something for us and our accreditation. <laughs> I mean, you know, if anybody knows Chills personally watching this, please let them know, hey, these guys really want you to review the footage so you know that it's not faked. And there we are. Oh, <laughs>